The San Diego City Council voting against Mayor Todd Gloria's city core revitalization proposal. That proposal seeks to fix up City Hall, the Civic Center Plaza, and the infamous Ash Street property. Bill Roper, president and CEO of Roper Capital Company, says the city should leave it to the professionals, the private developers, to get these kinds of jobs done. He joins us now to talk a little bit more about it. Great to see you, Bill. How are you? I'm fine, Logan. How are you? Doing well. What do, why do you think uh, these projects should go to uh, private developers and the city should maybe just kind of stay out of it? Well, the city needs to focus on core services, for which they have their hands full today. They're also financially constrained in a number of ways. And frankly, they've shown no ability. In fact, they've shown an inability to handle things as simple as purchasing and moving into an empty office building. So I don't think it's really within their swim lane and they should engage with competent large scale developers who are used to developing multi block properties in city cores and the, and the city should uh, stick to its own knitting of running municipal services. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about kind of the city's track record when it comes to buying buildings and trying to get, I don't know, developments done and so forth and so on. Well, it's, it's no secret, we've made some mistakes there and uh, they're, they're sort of open and notorious and, and somewhat of an eyesore. Uh, the city really uh, is, uh, of course, well-meaning in its activities, but I think that something as complicated as a multi-block uh, city revitalization project that will be high rises, uh, consisting of things like uh, subsidized as well as market rate, residential housing, uh, office space, retail space, a, um, a major new transportation hub, those type things really takes people with a lot of heavy duty experience in this area. They should also be at risk. We don't want to put the taxpayers at risk for mistakes that can be made in such a large, complex city core project. Yeah, like we saw with the 101 Ash Street project. So so how would it move forward? Would the city kind of take these six blocks and then just put it out to bid and say, we're kind of looking for this type of a development and then let the developers come back with different kinds of plans and proposals? Well, you're, you're in the right direction. The city has several options there, but they probably should engage with one or more highly qualified development teams to put together proposals on how to develop the property and then you know, um, economically transfer it to them and have them do the development, the city would gain the benefit of the value of the properties that they have. And the city also at the same time wants a new city hall and city office complex. Uh, we think that there's much more efficient and effective places for most of the city uh, administrative and back office, so to speak, employees not in a downtown high-rise mm -hmm. complex very high cost space yeah. uh, as far as the city hall city council chambers and so forth uh those type of ceremonial offices as well, as well as the mayor and his staff it, i think that'd be okay to be downtown in the city core complex but there's just more convenient more effective more efficient places to place uh, city employees throughout the city sure. in the suburban mid-rise office park environment near, uh, you know, public transportation. Yeah, well, we'll, of course, follow it, see what happens with those uh, six city blocks there in downtown. Uh, Bill Roper with Roper Capital. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, Logan. Yep.